Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of fungi and bacteria. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 6. Mel placed four similar oranges in setups A, B, C, and D at room temperature as shown below. So, in this question, they want us to find out in which setup would the mole first appear on the orange. Now, before we take a look at the setups, let's recall. When we look at mole, mole belongs to which group of living things? Mole is a type of fungi. And remember, in order for fungi to grow, it needs to have three conditions. What are the three conditions needed? There's a very easy way to remember. Fungi needs wow to grow. So what does wow stand for? The W stands for water. O is oxygen. And the last W is warmth. So these are the conditions needed for the mole to grow. But in this question, they wanted you to find out which one would the mole first appear in. So for the mole to first appear on the orange, this tells us all three conditions. Must they be present? Yes, so let's write this down. They must all be present. So let's take a look at setup A, and I'm going to write out the factors needed at the site. So let's take a look at the first one, W. W is water. Now, is there water in setup A? Answer is no. And why not? If you look at setup A, there is a substance there that absorbs moisture. So this tells us that all the water vapor in the air is being absorbed. Which means, is there any water? No. But what about oxygen? Is there oxygen in this setup? Answer is yes. How can we tell? If you look at setup A, we can see it is being covered by wire mesh. Now, does everyone know what wire mesh is? Wire mesh, there are many tiny openings between the wires. So because of the tiny openings, what do you think is able to enter into this container? We know that air or oxygen from the surroundings is able to enter. So as a result, is oxygen present? Yes. Now, what about the last one, warmth? Now, let's recall. Just now, we already said Mel placed the four oranges at room temperature. So when it's at room temperature, is there warmth? Definitely. So I'm going to write this out. There is going to be warmth. But are all three factors present in this setup? No. So do you think the mole can appear on the orange? The answer is no. So let's cross out setup A. Now, what about setup B? Same thing. Let's write out the factors at the side. And now, let's check the first one. Is there water in this setup? Now, some of you might be thinking, inside this setup, I don't see any water. So this means water is absent. But that answer is wrong. In fact, do you know there is water all around us? There is water in the air. But the water in the air is also known as water vapor. So we know that water is present in setup B. But what about oxygen? Now, if you look at this setup, we have a substance that can absorb oxygen, you know, which means inside this setup, will there be any oxygen? No. Then some of you might be thinking, but what about oxygen from the surrounding air? Isn't there also oxygen there? Yes, there is oxygen in the surrounding air, but this time, is the container covered by wire mesh? No, it is covered by a plastic container. Are there any gaps between the plastic? No, so as a result, can the oxygen or the air enter into this container? Answer is no. So oxygen is absent. What about warmth? Yes, there is going to be warmth present. But since oxygen is absent, do you think more can grow on the orange? No, so we can cross out setup B. Now let's move on to C. Now for C, same thing, let's write out the three factors first. Is there water present? Yes, not only is there water vapor, they even have a container filled with 
water. So we know water is present. What about oxygen? Yes. How can we tell? If you look at setup C, we can see there is wire mesh as well. So with wire mesh, what can enter into the container? Air or oxygen can enter. So oxygen is present. What about warmth? Warmth is also present. So is setup C possible? Yes, setup C is definitely possible. But let's move on to setup D. Now for setup D, same thing. Let's write out the three factors at the side. Now, is there water in this setup? Yes, there is water in the air known as water vapor. So water is also present. What about oxygen? Oxygen is also present. How can we tell? Similar to setups A and C, there is also wire mesh. So what is able to enter into this container? Air can enter, which means oxygen is present. But what about warmth? Warmth is also present. Now, what do we realize? Setup C and D, they both have all the conditions present, which means would there be more growing on the orange in both setups? Yes, but remember, what did the question want? The question wants the setup where more first appears on the orange. So let's compare between C and D. What's the difference we can see here? If you look at the conditions needed, do they both have the same amount of water? No. In fact, which one has more water? You can see setup C has more water. So I'm going to write down at the side. Setup C has more water. But what about oxygen and warmth? Are they the same in both setups? Yes. So because of that, which setup do you think the more can appear first? It has to be setup C. So that is why the correct answer should be option three. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!